This Paris Hilton sponge cost me three dollars and it's the best sponge I ever tried. Hi guys, welcome to my channel, my name is Yaro and today's video I will show you this beautiful glowy natural look and we will use just products which are under 10 pounds or 10 dollars let's say. I'm wearing my sexy t-shirt and I'm feeling good so let's do some makeup. this video how you can see I'm wearing my robe I just woke up like an hour ago and I just took a shower dry my hairs and you can see that I need a haircut I need some help ASAP so for the first product we will use this hyaluronic acid it's from ordinary and it's amazing it's cost like six pounds and it will last you for a long long time and these drops are amazing because they keep the moisture in your face. So I just use that to first like prepare my skin for the moisturizer and everything because I got a dry skin. Second thing which I'm gonna do, I got this small razor, you can get them like on eBay or somewhere, it's just like one pound for three of them. And I just want to shape a little bit the top of my beard because I'm too lazy to shave today. So I will just do that and we can go to the foundation. Before foundation I always like to use the putty primer from e.l.f. because it's nicely fill my pores because I'm a man so Let's be honest, I've got a huge pores. I love to use some sleeping masks from Revolution to make them smaller and look nicer, but still, I've got them there. So I will use this putty primer. It's like this, it's just fill your pores. It's amazing. I will put a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my nose, and just press it in. For the foundation, I will not using foundation because it's too strong and I would recommend you like some BB cream but because I'm mostly doing the full coverage foundations and this kind of stuff on my Instagram so I don't own any BB cream so I will make my own one and it's really easy, I will mix this moisturizer from Revolution it's really nice, it costs like 8 pounds and it's my second favorite moisturizer after the Glam Glow one and I will mix it with uh, also Revolution Concealer in C10.5 because I like to use products in a more way so I can use it, uh, mix it with a moisturizer like a BB cream and also I can conceal my spots because this is exactly my color and because I want to do a nice and glowy look because it's summer and we want to look like we came from the vacation I will use these liquid drops which is basically a golden highlighter. I will all mix it on this small palette which I've got for the highlighter for later on. You can just use whatever palette, whatever you've got home. And I just put a little bit of the concealer. Just like that. And also a little bit of the moisturizer. Just tiny bit. And for the glowy look, I will use just two small drops of the highlighter because we don't want to look too shiny. And now I will mix it all together and I will catch you back for the application. I'm back for the actual application, that's how it looks now, nice and mixed. It took me like 20 seconds to mix it up. And what I love about this is that the moisturizer keeps my skin nice and moisturized, it's amazing and it looks healthy afterwards and also still get me some color so I can cover that redness and everything and first I will do I will take the concealer by itself and I will conceal the spots And I will be using today this beauty sponge, it's from Paris Hilton when I went to Miami and 
let me tell you, this Paris Hilton sponge cost me three dollars and it's the best sponge I ever tried. Trust me, if you see them somewhere, just get them. And now just dipping into our new BB cream. And remember with the sponges, not swiping, never, just bounce, tap, 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 and we are done. How you can see, the redness is gone, my skin looks more seamless, and I can tell you some tricks for the sponges. Because if you got a beard like me, it's better to start on, the, on your cheek with the product, and after it work your way down. So you doesn't get the product in your beard. And for next step we will be using concealer. I will be using again same brand, same concealer, it's just a uh, number 6.5. And I will be applying under my eyes and to brighten it up. And just small tiny dots. Be careful because it's full coverage. And also a little bit on my eyelids because I got the dark eyes. Now I'm looking a little bit crazy, but I need to just blend it out and it will be looking good. You can already see how it's brightening up my under eyes, hiding my bags. Before it's my concealer start creasing under my eyes and on my forehead. I will use this uh, translucent setting powder from e.l.f. It's also like a 4 or 5 pounds. And you can use the buff. Or what I like to do, I just take my wet sponge and I dip in the powder. So I've got some powder on my sponge and I just go under eyes and just tap tap tap. Tap tap tap. And also over the lids. And I must do powder also my forehead because how you can see all these lines. So I blend it again with the bottom of the sponge, turn my sponge with the powder and just press it in. Like a next step I will be using bronzer which I picked this one from Makeup Academy and it's got a tiny bit of golden shimmer in it and it's amazing because it costs like 350 and how long does this last? I'm using this huge brush and just fill it in. a little bit of excess and I'm going in under my cheeks my forehead and you can already see the difference when it's like contoured a little bit and there is just oval face I'm going also on the sides of my nose And let me tell you, it's over here. <sighs> Do you feel like you use too much? Just use your wet sponge and get over it. And it will nicely blend the powder into your face. And it will look more natural. Like the next step, I will be doing my brows and for my brows I got this Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. Normally it is around 18 pounds, but you can buy this mini which is basically half size and it's a half price. So you can buy it for 9 pounds and they got also the color version. So I've got also this one which is like dark brown. And I really like this one if I want to fill some of the gaps or something. But today I just feeling to do like a bushy brow, so I will use the clear one. And first I will go against the curl of my hair to get the product in. And when I get the product in, I just brush them upwards. Like uh, one of the last products, I will use the Glow Palette from Makeup Academy again. It was also like a four or five pounds. 
and I will mix on my finger just this middle one and the top one just top 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 and I'm applying just with the finger top 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 on the nose and on my chin bones and I use again my wet sponge and go over it these products give me like nice, beautiful, healthy glow. And like a last, I will be using the Wet and Wild Natural Finishing Spray because I like to set all of this in the place so it doesn't move throughout the day. But whatever you're doing, you're sweating in the tube or something. Everyone knows how the tube in the London is disgusting. And you want this last on your face, so just spray it down and you are ready to go. Oh my god, I can forgot we need to moisturize our lips, so I will use this just lip balm from the Nivea. And we are ready to go for some photo shoot, party, and maybe your first date, or maybe just normal day in work where you want to look flawless. So see you guys next time. Bye!